Right. Yes, the way that okay, well, go ahead and start, and we can talk about that later. Okay, here we go. We're recording. Hey. And welcome to Talk on the Rocks. This is Mike, and this is Jamie. And uh, tonight's a very special show because somebody in the studio turns the big two five. Oh, honey, you didn't tell me it was your birthday. Yep, twenty five years young today. <laughs> I don't look a day over 32. Aw. <laughs> no, Jamie, happy birthday. Aw, thanks, honey. Yep, and uh, I got a surprise for you. We'll share for you, share with you a little bit here. Oh, yeah? I'm but, excited. But uh, I just want to get your uh, uh, your opinion on how how was your birthday. Uh, my birthday was pretty awesome, actually. It's one of my better ones. I uh, obviously had to go to work today because... Let's be honest, in the real world, you do have to go to work on your birthday. That's a lie. Lie. <laughs> lie. Nobody ever works on their birthday. They all take it off. Really? Yep. Then why didn't you just let me sleep in? Just say, nope, your alarm's going off. Never mind. You know what? I don't say anything because I sleep through your alarm. No, that's right. That's the beautiful thing about it. You set your alarm for 7, and then you finally nudge me at 7.30 or, or so <laughs> and say, ah, uh, can I get up? Yeah. And then I just have to get up and put put on the sweatshirt and pants and bumble off to take Colin to school. And I come back home and I, I technically could sleep if I wanted to. I'd go back yeah, to bed. Yeah, yeah. But out of respect for you, I stay up and do nothing. <laughs> I don't know about all that. That's right. So, hey, do you still have our phone number streaming across the bottom? I do. And you know what? I'm actually going to add the actual numbers to all of it. And I was trying to sneakily do this, but you were playing our uh, intro song. so. Oh, so I messed you up. Yeah. And I didn't want to, you know, it's a loud, a loud keyboard. So, uh. Well, hello to all of you out there. And uh, this is actually our second show on Ustream. Uh, we kind of migrated over from Blog Talk Radio because we figured we are so beautiful and, and so amazing that you'd want to see the faces that go with the voices. And well, I don't know about all that. But <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It sounds good. Okay, fine. Sounds really I good. I gotta stop moving around, though. So, because it's your birthday, you got to choose the drink of the night. I did. And what did you choose tonight? Um, actually, tonight, I chose a bottle of wine. <laughs> Which, coincidentally enough, I think I actually received for Christmas from a friend. <laughs> Wow. So I'm, 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 does that mean I'm regifting it to myself? <laughs> Is that even possible? I don't know. I don't I, know. I've never heard of a, the concept of regifting to yourself. Well, I, I mean, I I've got it for Christmas well, and I'm, then I'm having it for my birthday. I think so. it's called enjoying your present. Oh, oh, okay. At least that's what I would assume that's called. All right. Well, then I'm enjoying my present. Thanks, Whitney. She actually bought me a bottle of, let's see if I can put this. Oh, there it is. Relax Riesling. Hey, we got a, a, a birthday wish from the chat gallery here. Stickerhead oh. says happy birthday. Oh, thanks, Stickerhead. Heads with an S. Oh, I'm sorry. Heads. How dare you? I know. I'm sorry to our fans. I apologize. I actually don't have <laughs> chat open right now. So, and also hello to KM Judy. <gasps> oh, hi, Katie. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> See, eventually I'll get to know the real names that go behind some of these, these screen names. Well, that's true. Well, the reason I know these people is because I work with her. <laughs> <laughs> she actually said hi to me on Facebook as well. Very nice. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we, we might as well get this this out of the way. Wait, wait. Can we cheers? What are you drinking tonight? Because I know well, you don't like I, wine. I am not a wine drink. Well, I take that back. I like some wine, but... Well, okay. I think, honey, actually you should try this wine because it's not super sweet... It's actually not dry at all. Mm -hmm. I think you should try it. I'll, I'll try it sometime. Oh, not not tonight. I want to make sure that... There's uh, a dribble left in the bottle over here. I want to make sure... No promises. I want to make sure that I can do the show without having a, a, a bitter wine face. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. There's only certain wines I like. And usually, it's not bitter. And usually the wines I enjoy have the uh, the Arbor Mist label on them. Mm -hmm. They're a frosted bottle. They, <laughs> they are good. And delicious. Uh huh. <laughs> so. All right. Well, cheers, honey. Yes. Cheers with my Dr. Pepper diet cherry. It's not cherry. It's just regular. What? <laughs> oh, and I bought it too. You know Fail. what? I need glasses. They don't, they don't sell them in the 24 pack, the cherry one. They don't. Well, I, I just saw the color white and thought, wow, it's got to be it. <laughs> Here, here's the problem, folks. 
I, I need glasses and I'm vain and I and I won't go in and actually get them because I've never found a pair of glasses that actually looks good on me. I need to have a petition out there to all of you on our chat and watching us on Ustream. We need to petition to have Mike actually get glasses. I, I'm, I, I'll eventually do it. I'll eventually do it. But uh-huh. I just, I don't know. I just can't find a pair of glasses that look good and, and I'm too squeamish to get LASIK surgery. Yeah. So, okay, well, let's get this, let's get this out of the way. I, I have something for you in, in honor of your birthday. Cause I, I am a, 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 a hopeless romantic and I do enjoy <laughs> to, to write and I, I like to pretend I'm smart and, and I like, like when you pat me on the back for being smart, <laughs> but, uh, this is something I've written for you in honor of your 25th birthday. Aww. And uh, uh, with no further ado, am I, am I gonna cry? No, well, <laughs> maybe, but not because it's it's beautiful. Oh no, honey, <laughs> gosh! <laughs> but okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> it's been a lifelong journey. That's what they always say. What human beings call it when those days all slip away. You and Wait, I are. This sounds like an obituary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> it sounds like the beginning of an obituary. I was just trying to, to play to your feelings because you keep saying how old you are, and I, oh, you got to give me my 25. All right, fine. And I've offered to trade with you. I, I said, I I'll take your 25, and you can have my 32. <laughs> I don't want you to have to go through this, honey. I'm here for you. Oh, okay. Can I finish reading this? Yes, please. I'm sorry. It gets better. Okay. Already making fun of me. I didn't even get one stands out, and you're already ripping on me. <laughs> it's like I'm on the gong show or something. No. Should I start from the beginning so yes, you can, I can recap sorry. the beginning? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm focused now. All right. It's been a lifelong journey. That's what they always say. What human beings call it when those days all slip away. You and I are no different. We have our journeys too. But mine has been much better ever since it included you. Aw. Now your trek on this earth has reached a milestone. 25 years of starry nights and living where the sun has shone. You sometimes fret that you're too old, but this is not the case. You've still got so much youth. There's not a wrinkle on your face. (laughs) Two and a half decades of life, a proud life whispered in the breeze, a wonderful family and many friends, and of course, your two degrees. (laughs) Anything you've done, you've done it well, excelled when put to task, and when you've been needed most, we've barely had to ask. Your heart has been oh so giving, you've bettered the lives of all you've met, and still you keep glowing every day. And you are far from finished yet. <laughs> it's even <clears throat> it's even in the path you chose, a career in improving lives. But to anyone who knows what's in your heart, it came as no surprise. I want to make the world a better place. I've heard that a time or two. But when those words come from your lips, it's already coming true. And it look and just look how far you've come in a quarter century. You've got so many years to go. I'm so happy they're all with me. So happy birthday, Jamie. I wish you all the best. As we continue our lifelong journey and celebrate all the rest. Oh, honey! Yay! <laughs> that was really well, good. See, I, 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 you thought I was going to be an obituary, and it was something nice. It was. Make fun. So here, and I even printed you a copy <laughs> oh, thanks, for you to honey. have in your little scrapbook of when when Mike still had half a brain. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Scarecrow, cut it out. So. Anyway, uh, we had an interesting topic. Uh, we actually just came across this tonight, as a matter of fact, uh, right before we came to air. Wait, hang on. i got to interrupt it for just a Ooh, second. I'm sorry. I've been doing all the talking. No, Go right that's in. okay. It's just like Katie, one of my friends from work, is in chat right now. And she said, oh, Mike, that, that's so sweet. Jamie, you're <laughs> one lucky girl. I am. <laughs> I certainly am. And I never forget it. Now, um, what I want to throw out there to everybody too is uh, uh, we come up with topics all the time, and 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 my uh, lovely co-host Jamie has put the number on the screen. Feel free to call in at any time. I mean, we've got the, um, you know, we've got the phone always around. So if you just want to call just to get in on this crazy business, <laughs> any <laughs> any time you feel like calling, we're 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 here. But uh, I'm sorry, is that is that all you wanted to say, or or shall I continue? What are you talking about? I didn't say anything. No, no, you you interrupted me and you said what you had to say. And oh. then, I, then I turned right, right back and took it back from you. No, I'm good. Okay. Other than my arm's kind of cold from this uh, cold air blowing on it. What the heck, man? 
well, I can go turn the heat up. <laughs> no, it's all right. We're good. <laughs> anyway, uh, the topic we came up with is, you know, when you're um, you're going through school, and, and maybe just me, but but Jamie said this happened to her too, and so I'm I'm assuming this happened to many more people. But you go through your entire elementary school career, go to you know get to middle school and sixth grade, and then you find out, oh man, they're completely renovating my old school. And then you get to the next level and they completely renovate. The year after you leave, boom, they get all new stuff, all great stuff. Happened to me. I, you know, I, I leave um, my elementary school and they completely redid the computer center and they new carpets and all of that. Go to middle school, did my three years there. I think it sounded like a prison, did my three years. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I leave, I leave, I cut, you know, and I go to high school, I find out, oh, brand new carpets, all new clocks, uh, refurbished the gym. All this stuff, yeah, I didn't get to experience any of it. When I hit high school, at least during my senior year, they made had made some changes. We were able to, to actually enjoy a little bit of the new school. But after we left, after we left, we, um, you know, they they put in a pool. They redid the gym again. I mean, I, I went. I went. Your high school now is pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. I know it was not like that when I went there. <laughs> you know, it was not like that They're at probably all. Probably like, oh, Mike's out of here to destroy I, it. We can I, actually do something good now. I I don't know. You know, but they <laughs> completely redid the whole thing. I mean, it's a great, great school. But it's like, man, I would like to enjoy that. Hey, I like to swim. I know. I me too. Like to do that. I don't. Know, but you mentioned that had happened to you. Yeah, and then I want to talk about swimming in pools in high school after that so remind me but, i'll remind you okay yeah okay so definitely and all of my friends hopefully that are listening from michigan state who lived in holden can totally relate to this because honestly literally the year the summer after we moved out our senior year they decided to completely redo holden hall and i went to michigan state and for those of you that might be listening and watching um i know everyone knows holden hall it's in south one of the biggest storms on the campus awesome hall loved it lived there for three years but here's the thing is that they did this huge renovation of it like completely redid the first floor all of the main areas like all of the lounges and all of, like they moved the front desk from each side of the building to the center of the building and all the mailboxes they completely put in new furniture and painted all the rooms a different color it was ridiculous the amount of work that they did so now you go back you're like I didn't actually live like this <laughs> even though it's sweet and they have all this new stuff and it's all like I don't know. I don't want to say it's like retro furniture, but it's definitely like art mod furniture. Like they really wanted to do something cool with it. But in all these like bright, bold colors or whatever. And it was pretty bland when I lived there. So I'm pretty sure the only thing that's the same, although I think they might have redone it since then, is the cafeteria. So anyways, any of my even some of my cousins even went to Michigan State and they lived in Holden, which is kind of funny. They worked in the same cafeteria I worked in and they're like 20 years older than me. So it's pretty cool to think that, you know, my cousins went to the same place I did and, you know, lived in the same place as I did. And, you know, yeah, well, it sounds like Michigan State is definitely a family affair. It definitely is. We're continuing the tradition because, hmm, I wonder who I'm turning into a Spartan next. <laughs> <laughs> Who do yeah. you think, Cunny? <laughs> yeah, uh, my little one. Yes, he's my next project. You know what? He's not even that much of a project. He actually like is totally obsessed with Sparty. He wants to play Spartanopoly every day of the week and like several times. And he even asked Santa Claus for a couple of Sparty statues, although I don't think that Santa could find them in his big bag of treasures. <laughs> so... Well, maybe maybe for his birthday, Santa will have found well, them by then. Just looking at chat here, uh, Stickerheads is saying they actually uh, tore down their high school. Whoa! Yeah, so completely rebuilt it. That's crazy. Yeah. So, well, I never had that happen to me. They always managed to keep the building intact. But... Oh my goodness! Hmm. Carl, <laughs> Carl's in chat. Hi, Hi. Carl. <laughs> Hi, Carl. <laughs> um. Yeah, he, Carl says that he's not sure if Holden has improved with the renovations, and I kind of, I kind of agree. I mean, it was cool when you got to see all of it to begin with. Let me just tell you, the best part of it, of the renovation, is all of the new apartments. Like Joe's apartment was gross. Like Joe, I love you, 
but <laughs> it, it wasn't it wasn't his fault it wasn't his fault trust me carl you can relate to this because we all knew his apartment back then but yeah it wasn't his fault it was just it was old and like the kitchen we we attempted to cook an entire like four course meal in his tiny little kitchenette like he had two burners i think i think and then try and put all of his like he had pots and pans that his mom gave him or whatever it did not work out well thank you carl it was impossible (laughs) it was tiny 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 his bathroom was like this big so like to actually go into the bathroom and try and shut the door to go to the bathroom was like a feat in itself so they when they redid holden they redid the apartments and made them a lot bigger and a lot nicer they put like mock hardwood flooring down and all these Hmm. stainless steel appliances and they actually had like washer and dryer in the apartments and i know all of us were going why weren't we there for this (laughs) (laughs) so yeah anyways so oh i wanted to touch on the one other thing i don't know if this happened to you when you were like looking at high schools or if you just knew where you were gonna go but when wait looking at high schools yeah well (laughs) um let me just just back that up a minute Uh, around here we look at high school (laughs) okay fine well (laughs) That's how it usually is in Maine, too, but um, I grew up in Maine, for those of you that didn't know, Um, and the way it works in Maine is that if you live in a town that doesn't have a high school, you get your choice of area high schools that you can get bussed in and out of, or usually you drive or parents take you or whatever. So I was trying to decide between either the public school or the private school. So we kind of did a tour of the public schools and the private schools or whatever, and... It really came down to which one had padded walls. (gasps) Uh, you were saying? I'm sorry. <clears throat> it is my birthday. I hope you remember that. I'm going to take another sip of my wine and pretend you didn't say that. <laughs> Anyways, so... Mm. Mm. Delicious. Anyways, um, so when we were taking tours of the high schools, it was the big thing to tell incoming freshmen that the school had a pool and try and convince them that it was on like the second floor or on the roof or something like that. So apparently that was just a Jamie only story because you didn't have that issue. But yeah, that was the big thing where they tried to tell you that the pool or the school had a pool in the school or on the second floor or on the roof or something like that. It was like the big scavenger hunt to try and find it. And by the second school you visit, you're like, no, you don't. You don't have a pool. (laughs) So we got wise quickly as incoming high school freshmen. (laughs) So... Anyways, before we move on to our next subject, um, oh, Katie said she had a creek at her high school and they were told as freshmen that on Freshman Friday they would throw you in. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> See, that's just a rite of passage. You it's have to abuse thing, you right? have to abuse the freshmen. It's I mean, true. It's just how it goes. You know what's funny though? We didn't really get abused as freshmen, but we definitely abused the underclassmen when we were seniors. <laughs> Jamie. We're evil. Jamie. Whatever. Whatever. I'm not I'm not ashamed. <laughs> anyway, Stickers wanted to know what we're doing for Valentine's Day. What are we doing for Valentine's Day? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I guess we're taking suggestions. It's this your point. turn this year. I, 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 I hit the ball out of the park last year. Yeah. Last year, Mike did an awesome thing because he kind of felt bad. My birthday was completely awful last year. <laughs> completely awful. I don't know what it is. My body hates me. Every year I get some sort of sick around my birthday and it's like consistent. When I was younger, I'd get sick, like have strep throat. I had strep throat three years in a row in grade school. Last year, I had some kind of stomach flu food poisoning thing and I ended up throwing up my whole birthday, which sucked. So Mike, I think, was trying to make up for that, and he ended up taking us, because my birthday, obviously, since it's today, is very close to Valentine's Day. One week? Six days, actually. Uh, Six days. (laughs) That's what I was saying. (laughs) Yeah, right. So uh, he took me to Greek Town Casino in Mm. Detroit, and he took me to the Fisher Theater to see... Uh, the Wizard of Oz on stage, which was absolutely lovely. He enjoyed it so much, which was awesome because I love the theater and it was awesome to see that my love also loved the theater. So, yeah, it was it was a good time. It was fun, and uh, I liked I like going out to eat. Yeah, that was that was nice. Although uh, I didn't think we were actually gonna. It's almost like I didn't feel like they really wanted us there at first. Yeah, I know they didn't like see us right away. And yeah, 
I don't know. If anybody talk to us in chat or call in or whatever. Talk to us about uh, when you were having like a, a big a big dinner or, you know, something special and you didn't get treated the best. Cause... Well, yeah, and that's, that's a, especially when it's like a, a high class place like that. It wasn't just like the, the 99 cent buffet or whatever at the <laughs> casino. This was actually Hey, the, that buffet was expensive. It was like 20 bucks. <laughs> whatever it was. But we, the one, we actually went to a restaurant. What was it called? Uh, Bistro 55, I want to say. Yeah, it was actually part of the hotel. Right. It was in yeah, the hotel. Yeah, so, so we want to do something nice. We went there and uh, we get there and it's like the guy could not be more put out to actually have to ask us. To seat us. To seat us. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, uh, there's plenty of room to sit. That's the other part that was upsetting. I mean, it was. It, it was, wasn't like they were packed. Yeah. Although so. I did enjoy listening to the pianist play live. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, that was nice. Yep. But still. <laughs> so do we win any money? Uh, no, in fact, I think we lost money. Yeah, well, that's all right. Oh, well, we made up for it on our anniversary. <laughs> but it was very nice. Took a, took a taxi everywhere. We yeah. Had to, we got to actually enjoy Detroit. We did? We enjoyed Detroit. Oh, well, yeah, we did. The Fisher Theater. Yes. Greek Town Casino. Yep. Actually, the Fisher Theater is really cool. I don't know how long it's been there, because obviously I'm not from Michigan, so yeah, it's not long something. time. Yeah, a long time. Didn't it used to be like a train station or something? Mm. Or have the train run underneath it or something? Because it looks like my a train Fisher underneath. Theater history is very, very poor. No, <laughs> oh, I see. My knowledge of it is very poor. Gotcha. All right. Well, anyways, it was a good so, time. It was a good time. What are you guys doing for Halloween? Not what? Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> well, another show, honey. Another show. Let me take another drink of this. <laughs> I still want to know what we're doing for for Valentine's Day, though. That was a good question. It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's, a surprise. That's code for oh, come up with something quick. Come up with something quick. <laughs> no, it's not. It's yes. a, it's a, it's a surprise. Yeah, it's a surprise that you pulled it off. Listen. <laughs> oh, the abuse I take on my birthday. Do you see uh, no, these people? No, no, no. You and she loves it. Whatever. Anyways, okay. So, what were we gonna move on to talk to? Talk about. Well, I was supposed to remind you about pools and swimming. Oh, I already talked about that. So why didn't you tell me? I'm glad you were so paying attention about all of that. I did, but but uh, forget it, <laughs> forget it. You made it sound like you were going to go into a whole long, not just one anecdote. Well, okay. So, so your birthday, 25 years. Mm-hmm. Now, 25 years ago was 1986. It was. And I'll tell you, 1986. You were eight. I was eight. <laughs> and and it really. It really sometimes depresses me when things come up and you have no idea, never even heard of it. Like what, honey? Like the other show we did when I brought up, look, boss, the plane, the plane. No, we did. That wasn't during a show. That was before a show. Oh, even better yet. So, yeah. Well, then here we go. I bring up. Fantasy I, Island, yada, yada. I, <laughs> ouch. <laughs> you know what? You know it now, though, don't you? Well, okay. Before, you is, looked at me with like a deer in headlights. Okay, like, what am I talking he about? He didn't say... The plane, boss. The plane. He said Fantasy Island. I have no idea what that is. However, my parents used to always... Okay, my parents. My dad used to always say, Look, boss. The plane. The plane. When the, like anything was in the sky. So I knew that quote. I had no idea where it was from. <laughs> I did not associate it with Fantasy Island because I never saw Fantasy Island. I never knew what Fantasy Island was about. When did Fantasy Island go off the air? Oh, uh, it's been a long time. Nah. I'm going to best... Well, I'm just... <laughs> I'm I'm just saying I'm just saying that 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 there's certain pulp pop culture things that that I thought everybody knew and I'm learning with you that's not always the case and it's just a, a time stamp on me. Okay, well, you know, you just put a time stamp on me last night when we were at the dinner table and he goes, you know, honey, I can't even believe that you're going to be 25. I go, oh. yeah. He goes, yeah. I just always think of you as you're in your 30s, just like me. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, Much I don't, appreciated. I don't know. I mean, I mean, it, it, it transcends gen, you know, gender. I mean, there's certain things that, for my dad's generation, I have no idea what he's talking about. You know, he says, "What's <laughs> what's howdy doody?" And I thought it was something I used to say after I was potty training or something. <laughs> so, what, what the heck? That's not right. <laughs> it's not right. Not at all. <laughs> so. <clears throat> All right. Well, there was something that uh, I was looking at before the show that uh, uh, I don't. Know, you you really didn't have an opinion on it. <laughs> yeah. 
And I, do you remember that story that was in the news about that uh, a woman that was, uh, uh, oh, she was kidnapped as a baby. 19 days old, she was kidnapped. And then 23 years later, she finally is reunited with her mom. Mm-hmm. And I never, I really kind of like lost touch with the story after that. I just couldn't believe this, this woman walks into a hospital, takes the baby, and for 23 years doesn't get caught. And then and it wasn't until the, the grown woman starts you know, doing her own investigating, like something's not right here. I think, uh, um, uh, I think that, um, you know, I, my, that's not my real mom. And, and starts to take a look at uh, the uh, missing persons thing through New York and finally finds, uh, you know, her, her, her baby picture pr- practically up there. Right. And so she realizes, oh, I was kidnapped. Oh, my God. So she gets reunited with her mom. And, um, and I should find the article. I, I, this is terrible. I'm unprepared. I can't remember the name. Like uh, something white. Betty White? But No, not Betty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure... <laughs> Okay, okay, if it's Betty White, I'm sure she knows who her mom is, and her mom is long gone. <laughs> well, that's true. You know, and so, but uh, uh, anyway, this, um, you know, they get reunited, and it was, it's been a real cold sense. This is where I picked up the story. It's a real cold sense, but this is this is one of the things that's behind between them that I can't believe. Instead of saying, oh my God, I can't believe you're my real mom, and I'm back with you after 23 years, I understand that. You know, you're not going to be huggy, lovey, dovey right off the get go. Like, hi, you don't even know this person. They've barely been reunited, and the daughter's already stressing about money and getting money from the parents. She comes out and says, <laughs> "I will not, I will not do any interviews right. until I get paid for them." And um, she wanted, she's you know, you know uh, going after her parents about this trust fund that was set up. There was a settlement that happened back in. I want to say the early '90s, but they basically they settled with the hospital for, "Hey, we lost our baby because you know of your lack of security. You know, you owe us." There was a settlement. They set up a trust fund till her 21st birthday. Uh, you know, for a case she's ever found or whatever, but they put that right. money aside for her. Well, they end up the parents end up spending it. They spent the money. Oh my god! So, which I understand. I understand that. Hey, you know what? Tough times and everything. So the, on the parents' side, you didn't know they're coming back. You know, the 21st birthday's passed. I mean, something's going to be done with that money. You know, you give up hope in a way. You, you know, that, that money could, you know, feed you, clothe you, and save you. Right. You spend it. Well, the the, the daughter doesn't see it that way. Well, it's, here's the question. You spent my money. <laughs> you spent my money. Here's the question. Did the parents, like, need it or they just No, they, they needed it. Help? They oh. needed it. I mean, oh. it they, didn't just, they didn't go on a cruise or nothing with it. They... They fed themselves needed and, it. Yeah. You know, and all that. You know, they huh. actually needed it. Well, truly needed it. Carl says that that's smart of the girl for wanting her money because it's over 20 years of trauma. Yeah. <laughs> I agree to a certain extent, but at the same time, you never knew that that money existed. So it's not like you had been expecting it and anticipating it. Well, I don't, I'm not going to vouch for the kidnapper's parenting skills. Well, but, for sure. Especially but, if this girl is like totally ungrateful and. You know, a money grubbing essentially. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there was some some abuse issues, and I remember that part of it. But um, I don't know. See, I'm, I'm I'm with Carl on the aspect of, you know, hey, you know, that was a trust fund set up for you. You had no say in it how it was spent. You know, right? It was just spent under your nose. But at the same I mean, time, did, she didn't know about it. I know and she. It's didn't not know. like she's losing something she already had. She never even knew about it. Right. It, that's the difference, though. I'd understand if I she just, like knew it and was expecting to have it, was planning on it. But at the same time, she just found out that she was stolen, like kidnapped. Yeah. And then she finds out, oh, my God, I was supposed to have all this money. And like, yeah, it's shocking. Yeah, it's traumatic. But at the same time, you have to look at your life and go, OK, how different is my life now, even though I don't have this money? Like, Well, that, that's just, what that's what I'm saying is, is, is that she got reunited with her mom just got reunited just now doesn't even have a chance to get to know her yet right and she's already talked about money and giving my money right i mean that that that's sad i mean to me that's sad i mean there's a time and place for that and you know i'm sure that's a, a legal issue to be to be looked at but uh, at the same time like <laughs> i wonder what that trust fund actually said though because they well, can't have had it for an unlimited well, amount was, of time well and, that's what i say it was till her 21st birthday she's 23 she, now Okay, then it's not hers anymore. Well, that's, that's <laughs> one, one way of looking at it. I just... I don't know. I don't know. And that's another thing, too, is that, you know, I, you never know what's in someone's mind or their heart. Well, that, and you don't know how... This might just be how she's dealing with it in the moment. It might not be how she's actually feeling, so... Yep. 
And I'm going to commend you too, Jamie. What, dear? That before the show, when I brought this up, you you really didn't have an opinion, and and you. I found an opinion. You found one real quick, <laughs> and it's a real Listen, firm opinion. Everyone knows that I can be very opinionated on things you, that no one you, else cares about. You, Jamie, opinionated? Yes, no, no. <laughs> yes, me. Yes, me. I need to find a different office chair. Why? Because this one's hurting my back. That one looks like a throne. It does, but I can't it's sit like back in it. It's like a big princess throne. I have I to sit on the edge so that I'm actually in the microphone. <laughs> well, I can set can the boom me. mic up for you for the next for the next show. You can have a nice boom like I've got, and then I can't talk to people. I'll have to figure it out. You can like lay back, and I can get you a bag of Hershey's Kisses, and <laughs> we can open up the love lines. Because <laughs> chocolate is so sensual. It'll have to be dark chocolate because here's here's the thing. Since today is my birthday, I wanted to shout out to my mom, who I'm not sure is listening tonight. She might be doing other things, but anyways. I wanted to give a shout out to my mom and say thank you for the books that I asked for. My mom went on this diet um, probably, I don't know, a couple of years ago, maybe, maybe less time than that, but it's called the flat belly diet. Hmm. And when she was actually like following it and paying attention to it, she did really well. She lost a lot of weight and she looked really good. Um, and I mean, she hasn't gained all the weight back just because things have been going on and whatever. But, um, you know, when she was I'm sure following your mother it, appreciates that. What? Go on. You're good. Okay. I didn't mean that you're fat, Mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean that you were doing a really good job on the flat belly diet. Okay, I'm just going to continue. Anyways, so in the spirit of, you know, Busted. my... Busted. Oh, shh. Shh. <laughs> shh. We'll have to erase this part of the show before my mom watches. <laughs> Anyways. So um, in the spirit of Mike and I getting married in, you know, 10 months, um, I think that we should start a, a campaign. A campaign? A campaign. A weight loss campaign. Okay, continue. You're, you're, you're intriguing me now. Okay. Well, first of all, if I lose weight on this campaign, will you go back and call me, you know, say I, oh, I was doing real well? <laughs> no, because you will be doing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> I'm totally ashamed right so now. So you need a pop filter for your microphone, and you need a filter that goes between your brain and your mouth. Okay, listen, <laughs> you, you. Me? You need the same filter. What? What? How many times today? Today. Today what? Today. Today what? Ha how many times today have you gone, Ooh, I didn't mean to say that, honey. Um, I love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm I'm being funny when I do that. Uh huh. I don't think so. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carl Carl said he, we should get a Brita filter for you. <laughs> it's 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 keep possible. all of the iron and crap out. The iron, all the stuff that just dribbles out of my mouth. Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. Okay. Or, I'm sorry. Anyway, your campaign. I'm ready campaign. for this. I'm ready for this oh, campaign. Gosh, we really need to get me a pop filter. Ugh. Anyways, um, campaign. Yep. Yes. We should do the flat belly diet because my mom just sent me the books and the cookbook. Hang on. I'm going to get them because maybe we'll get some other people to try it out. I'll be right what, back. Wait, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold what? on. What? What? Uh, you say so you want me to do the flat belly diet with you? Yes. Wait, what if we just make it a competition that I just go back to doing it the way I do it and you do it your way and we'll see who's more effective. Okay, but here's the thing. Are we measuring weight difference or are we measuring inches lost? I don't know. I mean, weight difference, I win hands down. Well, yes. I mean, I we blow, have to do like I, I blow my nose. I blow my nose and I lose two pounds. So. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> this is Mike and Jamie. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um. Porter says, do percent of loss. And <laughs> Katie goes um, that blow, blowing your nose and losing two pounds is, sounds like her husband. And, my, and Carl says, yep, that's some heavy snots. <laughs> so percentage of, okay, so, so percentage of loss. Okay. So percentage of weight lost. Okay. Okay. All right. That sounds fair. Okay. Anyways, can I go get my books now? Wait, you're going to read to me out of a cookbook? I'm not going to read to you. I'm going to show our listeners. And watchers. Okay. All right. Go, go ahead. All right. You, you. I'll be right back, and then the, we'll talk the, about how we're going to do and this. And then you know what? Me, me, and the audience are going to have a little FaceTime because I got something I got to lay on you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, last year, uh, we had an awesome Valentine's Day, as Jamie so eloquently pointed out. 
Now this year I'm counting on her to blow my mind. So so <laughs> no pressure. But I want it to be fantastic. I want I want I want a cruise. <laughs> and, and oh you're back. Um whatever you do whatever you do for Valentine's Day is nice, honey. Whatever you come up with will be good. Yeah. <laughs> So, all right, let's all right, let's see this book. Well, hang on, I gotta get situated again because I'm sure people can't hear me. I'm far enough away from the microphone. I w- Carl, I would love a pony. The problem is, I don't think the pony would love me, especially <laughs> especially when I go giddy up. I think he'll need hip replacement. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is the point of the flat belly diet. <laughs> oh, 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 did we turn your mic off while you're moving around? Yes, please. Turn me off. All right, I turned you. Well, <laughs> all right, I turned you off. <clears throat> Anyway, as she's getting her, her thing situated with her books that so she's... Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, you are back on. I am. Okay. This... There we go. <laughs> this is the first book. This is How to Do the Diet. And I'm not done with it yet. I've only read the first three chapters. <laughs> so uh, we'll figure out more of this as we go along. What have you learned from the first three chapters? That monounsaturated fatty acids are good for you. They help you burn belly fat. And there's several types of belly fat. There's the subcutaneous belly fat. And I'm not, I don't have the book open. This is all from memory. <laughs> um, subcutaneous belly fat, which is like the fat on the outside of your muscles. And then there's visceral fat, which is the fat in between your organs that kind of cushions it, cushions them. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. I'll say this is... <laughs> You lost do you, me. Do you want a medical the, lesson? Or? No, I'll just say you lost me. See, here's here's how, how dieting works for me. <laughs> okay, Jamie, when we got together, Jamie taught me this word. And uh, you have to remind me what is por, portion, por, por, portion. Portion. That's it. Portion. That's the word. Portion. Apparently, when you eat food, you're only <laughs> supposed to have a set amount of each type of food. And, and, and you're and, only supposed to eat what's on your plate and be done. And, and, you know, and, and also I learned that a, the plate is not a serving suggestion. It's just a thing that holds the food. <laughs> so so I'm, I got better with that. And then also apparently there's this, this trigger that happens like right in your above your stomach where, where after you've eaten so much, it like, I don't know, I get this feeling like I probably shouldn't force anything more down into it. So she taught me about this concept of putting the fork down. Mm-hmm. Or the spork in your instance. And, or the spork in my instance. That's right. And so if I'll, you all didn't know, Mike has his own website called Eat With a Spork where he blogs about random things, which actually are very interesting topics, but he's all about sporks. So, But all joking aside, I, you know, that's one thing my whole life that uh, uh, I've never paid attention to. It's like eat what I want, when I want, and as much as I want. So, um, Well, we're going to work on that. Yes. Yeah, but so, here's the thing. Go ahead. Well, number one. Apparently, Carl is suggesting bulimia, and portions are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, well, that's it. That's, that's why you have a, a friend. What's that? The One at Family Guide episode with uh, this is you know Mr. Pinky. He's oh help my you. God! <laughs> where he's where, where James Woods took over uh, Peter Griffin's life, and, right? And he taught Meg how to be bulimic. Yeah. And he goes, "See, this is what makes you look beautiful." And he puts it down her throat. She throws up. He's like, when did Reese Witherspoon get here? <laughs> terrible, terrible. Yeah, we're not going to do that, though, folks. That's <laughs> really, really bad for your esophagus, not to mention your general health. <laughs> you, you know what? We should have another show. We should have Talk on the Rocks, and we can have Eat with a Spork, where I just get down there and just be stupid. And then we can have, <laughs> then we can have Life Lessons with Dr. Jamie Piscara, and you can teach everyone. <laughs> what the science behind everything yeah oh carl says don't bring the lord into this did i say lord i d- don't know i don't know I well don't know. i'm sorry if i did oh but anyway i think that that yes i will i will <laughs> gladly join this campaign with you all right we will track it on our website talkingtherocks.com that's right and actually the, when when should we do our first way how do we keep on it that's why i want are we gonna put our are we gonna weigh in online i have no problem you know what I think, I think it's okay. I think I think I'll do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna, gonna you're gonna allow that to be published. Uh, yeah. You have nothing to be ashamed about. I do. Well, Jamie, you're a beautiful woman, and yeah, I, I see, am deeply in love with you. And and anything you do with this is do it for your health, and that's it. That's right. And you know what? I've been reading a lot in this book, though, in this 
flat belly diet book <laughs> and um it said that you know the people who have at the risk of heart disease severely increase not because they're just obese but because of the amount of um visceral fat that they have the fat that is in between their organs and that kind of stuff and i'm really really worried about this now <laughs> so um honestly it's for it's more for health than for looks but obviously we have a goal in mind which is the wedding so oh stickerheads suggested a cooking show well stickerheads i do have the cookbook for flat belly diet and you know what my mom's actually made some stuff out of here and it's not bad if i do a cooking show that would completely ruin me <laughs> you know what let me tell you something i think i am single-handedly responsible for raising the cholesterol levels of everyone in my house well that's you know, a few years, a few years back, <laughs> a few years back, I, I got on the cooking kick, and uh, uh, we I did a lot of deep fried foods. And let me just say, I, I mean, everything from homemade corn dogs to you know the, the chicken. Which fingers you tried to and, serve me for dinner tonight? I, I didn't no. try to serve it. I suggest I said, hey, I can make dinner tonight. How about corn dogs? <laughs> you you said spaghetti, and and, and here's the thing: you I know. asked you what you wanted for for your birthday dinner, mm -hmm. and you said, well, spaghetti's okay. Okay, well, considering what we have in the house and the fact that I'm actually getting a birthday party on Friday, which, Carl, I hope you're coming to. <laughs> Katie, you're invited to. And I don't know who stickerheads or sporter are, but... Is, or sporter, where you live. sporter is my sister. Oh, oh my God, Sandy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, but, um, yeah, but anyway, I mean, I, and that's the thing, too, is like today when I was shopping, I was doing a little bit of domestic shopping. <laughs> I was shocked, shocked for the first time in my life, a store brand cost more than the comparable national brand. What? Did you buy like I organic or something? I had to buy vegetable oil for that. You know that delicious, delicious carrot cake you enjoyed tonight oh, yeah. that I made? I had to get us some vegetable oil to yeah, make it. we didn't, we were all Crisco, out. I kid you not, Crisco cost more, I mean less, less than Meyer brand. Wow. For the same size bottle. They're right next to each other. And, and ironically, the, did you like check the labels too? Like I know that sometimes. Well, well, here's, well, I did. I checked the labels. I took pictures. I actually have proof. I brought proof home. I'm going to put it on my website tomorrow, but get this. When you look at the shelf shelf and you'll see it in the picture, all of them, all of the Meyer oil nicely stocked all the way to the front. Like no one's touched one of them. And of course the Crisco is like <laughs> haphazard and, picked in the back and, and people have been coming by and taking it all day. Well, so wow! Apparently, Katie's noticed this phenomenon as well. That Chris goes cheaper. Yeah. yeah what? Wow, here's me stammering over it. I just can't believe. It. I can't fathom why that would be cheaper. Well, okay. Let's talk about like mass producing things. And I know that Meyer makes their own brand of everything. But they don't advertise it. They don't need to. I know, but I'm just saying. Here, okay. Let's talk about Jiffy. Not Jiffy. What is... Oh, you're talking about... Yeah, Jiffy. You're talking about the, the uh, uh, muffin mix and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, Jiffy. I watched the Unwrapped of that on the Food Network. Mm -hmm. And literally, they sell for 88... With Mark so Summers? With Mark Summers. Did you know that he is um, dyslexic? I did not know that. Did you know that he used to host Double Dare? Yeah, I did. I did watch Double Dare. Okay, I just want to make sure that wasn't before your time. <laughs> no. No. Nickelodeon Slime? No. I definitely know what that is. Okay. All right. Anyways, so um, I watched this unwrapped and like nobody has been able to re reproduce this Jiffy mix. Like their pie mix is only 88 cents. Their muffin mix is only well, 88 cents. they can cents. reproduce it. They can't do it for that price. Well, right. Well, that's you, what I'm saying. You know, but you know what though? They, they're so efficient how they do it. I mean, they, everything right from no what? No advertising, no marketing. You know, it's all word of, the mouth, word of mouth now. But also the fact that the boxes... They actually do their own printing in house. Yep, they, they do. Have, they, they have their own printing press and everything. They actually print everything themselves, cut themselves. Wow, something's actually not in Japan. <laughs> yep, they actually do it right here in the United States. Carl, you know what? This is not actually my biggest glass. I unfortunately broke three out of the four of my bigger glasses, but this this is out of a set that one of my friends, Jenny Farley, gave me for my birthday like three years ago. How it's how are you breaking glasses? Well, those ones were cheap ones. They were like four for five dollars. So you're just at like Target. gluck 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 gluck. No, they were. <laughs> yeah, Carl, I'm not. Playing. That's a cheap glass. I'll get another one. <laughs> Don't touch my wine. No, the glasses that I bought. That That's I bought. my bottle of wine. Yeah, the one with the monkey on it. Hey, I love Monkey Bay, and let me just tell you too. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for moving my mic. Um, let me just tell you too that my aunt, my Italian aunt, 
did not know what Monkey Bay was. This is the woman that has traveled to Italy, gone to wineries in Italy. She's kind of a wine connoisseur. She's never had Monkey Bay before. I had her try it a couple years ago when we were at an Italian restaurant. She thought it was really good. She's like, I've never had this, but I'll definitely get this again. I'm like, wow, something that I knew about wine that my auntie didn't. See, I, I can't drink Monkey Bay. And, and you know, because the other day I was having a glass of milk with my spaghetti and I accidentally spilled some on the table. So I thought about getting a paper towel, but that wouldn't have been dry enough to suck it all up. So I just poured some of your wine on it and <gasps> it was good. You haven't tried this relaxed wine. <laughs> Whatever. I'm fired. You're you're something tonight. <laughs> you're gonna be fired. Carl says to try Charles Shaw two buck chuck from Trader Joe's. <laughs> Apparently, it blows his wind <laughs> or wine. <laughs> Carl, I love you. <laughs> it's three bucks a bottle, two ninety nine, and it blows his mind actually. So, but yeah, I, I, okay. So I, I was shocked that that Crisco cost less. Less. Wow. I was shocked. Yeah. Well, anyways, getting back to the idea, Sandy, I think that maybe I will do a dinner on the rocks. You know what? Let's start this right now. I'm going to schedule it because actually Mike is going to be out of town at the end of this month. And well, second to last weekend, he's actually going to be in Georgia visiting you <laughs> and his dad with Colin. So I'll have the whole house to myself for the for like a day and a half. No wild parties. No, I'm going to do dinner on the rocks. Oh, I'm going to pick, well, well I'll have you, to look through this. But. How are you going to do it, though? You have to set the camera up out there or something. I know. I'll do it. Don't worry. We'll have to do a test run before I leave to make For sure. sure. To make well, sure. we'll have to set up the cameras at two different angles so they can see me and then see what's in the pan. Yep. We'll see, and I'll we just can do hope with, I don't We can do it with the laptop. That's true. Yep. That'll be sweet. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. So, you know what? And then eventually we'll have uh, Iron, Iron Chef Highland <laughs> or Iron Chef Michigan. What? How, how about that? Yeah. We can have Iron Chef Michigan. I'll take you on. Oh, we're narrowing down. No, Iron Chef America and we'll be Iron Chef Michigan. Might as well. And Excellent. I'll take you on. I'll go head to head. <laughs> the secret ingredient tonight is... Flax. Kosher pickles. <laughs> you see, Classic. Top I've, shelf Jamie. I, I've made myself... Katie's already on my side. <laughs> a deviled pickle where I've scraped out all the innards and replaced it with mm, delicious stuff <laughs> gross it's got a toothpick in it for for appearance <laughs> makes it look symmetrical <laughs> that's yeah carl says nastiest thing ever i agree <laughs> thank you and katie too and sticker heads is contributing to our wine discussion and um they say try sweet uh, if i like sweet try uh, pacific rim sweet riesling and Sandy says cheese whiz. Close. There's <laughs> not enough love for Arbor Mist. There shouldn't be. You know what? I I think here's it's like what, box wine. You know what? No, one of these nights we're going to have a, a real panel. We're going to invite some friends over, and okay. we're and we're going to set up some wines. If they can't see what what it is. We're just going to have like the little hidden box over it. We'll pour them, push it towards them. They won't know what what's what. Carl will get Joe and Lauren and Whitney to do this too. Yep. They'll pick my wines. Yeah. yeah nice. Nice. <laughs> We'll get we'll get several people involved, and I think the Arbor Mist would hold its own. Carl says Boone's Farm. <laughs> <laughs> no, Boone's Farm, Boone, Boone Farm is is is, is cheap wine. Uh, that's agreed, but you know what? It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Arbor Mist is the best wine that five dollars can afford. Mm, it's also the worst headache five dollars can no, afford. No, <laughs> yes. that's because you're weak. You're weak. I Week. You're that weak. That stuff is crap. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to sit here. You're purple I'm not going to sit here and let... Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm not let, Wait, here. let me talk and tell something about a funny story. Okay. Last Christmas... Would you promise this is going to be funny? Well, I'm not trying to make you laugh. I'm trying to make our listeners laugh. That's all I care about. And this wow. will make them laugh. <laughs> so, last Christmas, not this past Christmas, like two months ago, but the Christmas As before in, that. Oh, okay. So, two Christmases 2009. Ago. So, not last Christmas, the Christmas before. Are you done? I just want to clarify. Okay. I think I did. We're good. All right. Anyways, so I had to go to Maine for Christmas to visit my family. So I needed someone to drop me off at the airport, and Mike so willingly obliged. 
And so, you know, he's taking me. It's like mid-morning on a Sunday or whatever. We went to church. We had breakfast. And we're driving to the airport to uh, Detroit Metro. So, you know, driving along, driving along. And we are discussing, yet again, Arbor Mist. <laughs> Which and- is not sugar water, by the way. How dare you? Sugar water? <laughs> no. 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 Yeah, sticker heads. Absolutely. Don't don't encourage the audience. Well, okay. So we had this whole discussion about the fact that it's and basically enc- and, purple oh, and, Pepsi. And audience don't encourage her either. Oh, yes. Encourage. It's it's going to happen right here. So we had a discussion about how it's purple Pepsi. Okay. That is the name that we came up with it up with for it. We or you? No, you did too. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, it yeah because basically it's like it's okay. It fizzes. What wine besides I've seen, champagne fizzes? I've seen wine you you've drank fizz. When no, you pour it, it did oh, not. Yes. It had bubbles around the edge from when you pour it, but this wine so, actually has like no, the pop 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 does, on the top. Does not. Oh does yes, not. you're imagining that. To, to See, make Katie it go says back. no wine fizzes and, and besides arbor mist no, which arbor is bar- it's a not. wine product no first it doesn't of all. okay anyways See, we're no, discussing- no 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 no, no. You, you know, i'll come back to that go ahead go ahead we're I'll come discussing back to the whole purple pest C aspect of arbor mist and mike totally distracted by all this misses the exit to get off to get like drop me off maybe i didn't s- want you to leave me yeah a likely story <laughs> That's the, that's what came about after he's like, oh well, I just I just didn't I didn't want to, I didn't want you to leave me. No, it's because he was too busy arguing with me about whether it was purple challenging Pepsi what's or in my heart. wine. Challenging what's in my heart, Jamie. Yeah. Jamie. Whatever. So, listen, listen. I'm gonna go back to this. You said you keep going back to this with wine product, <laughs> but yet you could never tell me what exactly is a wine product. What's the difference Apparently, between a wine? Our mist is. What's the difference between between a wine and a wine product? Apparently, it's got something other than wine in it because this wine right here, nowhere on this bottle does it say wine product. They can describe it however they want. Like Why is the Arbor Mist the only one that says wine product, Because that, product, they want to be different. I don't know. Why would you want maybe to because, proclaim your wine as something it's great? actually, what it is, is probably the, no, you know what? It's because the translator doesn't speak fluent angel. So when the angels made the wine and explained it to them, they didn't, <gasps> they didn't, <laughs> stop, stop it, stop it. They didn't write it down right. They didn't. <laughs> Write it down correctly. Uh-huh. And so they, they didn't know if the, if the angel said product or if they said wine. So like, you know what? Put them both How down. would you confuse wine and product? Because they, they don't, don't speak, even remotely they don't sound speak, the same. They don't speak the divine you're tongue. you're making this up. They don't speak the divine you're tongue. You're making it up. Listen, when an angel, <laughs> when an angel comes down and... and After, and, you know, um, George's daughter rings the bell. Listen. And he gets his wings and Clarence is happy. Oh, my God. It's not even like that. Look, look. The angels are all around us all the time. They came down and gave Star Wars to George Lucas. They came and, and gave the gift of music to John Williams. <laughs> you know what? They taught John Lennon to play guitar. <laughs> uh, and they, they okay, Please continue. What else have the angels Paul done? They taught Paul McCartney how to write music. <laughs> Clearly not John Lennon how to write music, though. Yep. Um, <laughs> they, they told Lincoln not to go to the Ford Theater, but he didn't listen. And, um, oh yeah, and they invented uh, Arbor Mist. Mm. So I just want to make sure. Clearly their most um, astute it's, of. Oh, it's, 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 it's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. See what I have to live with, people. You know what? And, and really, it all it was, it was a, a, an angel one day didn't have the money in his pocket to buy a fifth of Jack Daniels, so he settled for Arbor Mist. And oh, my, settled for wine product. Settle for Arbor <laughs> Mist. Purple Pepsi wine product. That's what happened. All right. Well, we'll agree to disagree. We're going to agree to disagree. Anyways. Sticker heads, it's like cheese product. It's not really cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So are we comparing Arbor Mist to the cheese, cheese whiz, whiz? Yes. Of cheese? <laughs> yes. No. Yes. <laughs> no. No. Yes. And In fact, I- you know what? It's not, cheese whiz is closer to cheese than our wrist is listen, to wine. Listen, wine, wine is like a rich person's sick joke. 
<laughs> they basically they don't want they don't want to admit to each other they're not in on the joke, but they 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 sip it and they pretend like mm, this one tastes like a motor oil dragged through a dirty sock. <laughs> it really brings out the richness of them on my palate. No, no. See, they don't, they, and they make up all these fancy terms for what things smell like and taste like. And oh my it's, goodness! It's it's a rich person's joke. They don't want to admit to each other. You know what? You are drinking. All right, rich friends, f- weigh in now. <laughs> you're you're drinking the the salty droppings of a whale's butthole. I mean, <laughs> that's that's just what it is. I'm just telling you. And you know what? And you're you're in on it. And I I'm oh. gonna crack you one day. I'm gonna crack you and catch <laughs> you. And you're gonna come clean and be like, you know what? Can I have a glass of Arbor Mist? I'm, no. pl- I'm done playing. No. I'm done playing. You know what? I drank almost an entire bottle of Arbor Mist for you one time, and I had the worst headache ever. I've because never you're... been hungover. That was the worst no. headache I've had. Yeah. It means you're not worthy. <laughs> I'm not worthy. You're not worthy. You're not worthy. Let me... You know what? I drink a whole bottle... <laughs> I drink a whole bottle of Arbor Mist. You know what happens to me? Do you drink another? I get bloated. <laughs> See, the angel should never make you bloat. And then, then I go and, and, and break the seal and I come out and I drink another bottle. That's sick. And then, then I start dancing with the dog and singing Pretty Woman. Yeah. So it's all good. Yeah, about that. <laughs> so I'm just, just saying. Anyways. So, so we're going we're gonna to do this, this weight loss contest. We're gonna right. Do our so when should we do our, our first weigh-in? Our next show. We, When's we, our next show? Our next show, we'll uh, we'll we'll announce the results and no When's our next show? Uh, you tell me, since since I'll do one every night. I know you will. How about we do Thursday? All right, so Thursday, take the night off tomorrow night. Yeah. Okay, we can we can handle that. So that'll be good. Also, I am itching to give away those gift cards. I know, guys. If you are not already, go to our Facebook page, or better yet, go to either Mike's or my Facebook page, and you will see Talk on the Rocks plastered all over it, or go to TalkOnTheRocks.com, click on Be a Friend or a Fan of Us on Facebook, and if you didn't know this already, we are giving away $25 Visa gift cards after our first 500 listeners, and as of right now, how many do we have right now, honey? Uh, when I checked earlier today, it was at 20. Okay. So it's it's been a slow go. Oh, 21. 21. 21. Very, very nice. It's it's a slow go. We've been on, we've been on uh, the air less than a month. Right. So it's a slow go, but we're... It is, but you know what? Ask your friends, ask your family, and you know what? We're giving actually four of them away. So, oh. you have four chances to win 25 bucks. So, I for clicking like on a page, really, is there an easier way to win money? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, there's probably several easier ways, but you have to be uh, in the right place at the right time. Let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, easy and legal way to win money. Oh, oh, well then. Uh, oh, right, no, right. then there's no e- there's no easier legal no, way no. To, to do nope, it. No, 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 no easy or legal <laughs> way than to uh, just friend us on Facebook, um, and we'll be giving away our first twenty five dollar gift card after the f- or during the first show after we reach five hundred listeners so head over to facebook friend us on facebook we're also on twitter um and we usually tweet you know our upcoming shows as well as inviting you guys to the event of our next show through facebook um so definitely check us out there because you know we want you to win we want you to listen we want you to have a good time and you know have a drink have some laughs and uh sit back and enjoy an hour of your night a couple nights a week Yep, and also too, if you ever have, uh, uh, you're going through um, the internet and you find a funny story, a funny article, or just come up with a, a topic in your mind that you think would be interesting to talk about, uh, you know, Jamie and I are very accessible. Uh, we our email addresses are Jamie at talkingtherocks dot com and Mike at talkingtherocks dot com, or our Facebook page, or on Twitter. Um, her Twitter is at Talk on the Rocks, and mine's at Nerdy Father. Right. How cool is that? <laughs> or uncool, depending on what side of the coin you are. If you're nerdy, it's cool. If you're not, not nerdy, well, then you're like, okay, that's that's nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> but, Which but, is what you're going for. You're like, whatever. Yeah! Get, get in touch with us and uh, uh, share those with us. We, we we definitely like to know what you think and and the best we shows. We want to include you, <laughs> right? The best shows are. I mean, the whole point of us doing it is to entertain you and entertain each other. But absolutely. We like well, it's mostly you... entertaining to us. I don't know about them. <laughs> <laughs> they just put up with it. Yeah, they're just... like, yeah, I guess this is okay. Maybe they I'll. They want to see time. if this is the. This is the show where someone gets hurt. 
It's all Ooh, on camera. Maybe that'll be the uh, <laughs> the cooking show. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> Who knows? It depends on what I cook. So we will definitely be talking about um, our first weigh-in on Thursday as well as um, we're going to be posting our new drink of the night. Um and who knows what we might talk about on Thursday. We have to figure that out still. But it, we promise we'll put our hearts into it and be entertaining. We hope you guys join us again. Um, and then we have to... Hi, Hannah! <laughs> <laughs> Hannah just joined us. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hannah's another one of my coworkers. Yay, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, we'll be looking through this cookbook and trying to see what we'll make the night that Mike will be gone. And it'll be just me hanging out with you guys. So uh, we'll have to do some kind of cooking show and try and get you guys interested in this flat belly diet. It's all about the monounsaturated fatty acids. So um, we'll let you know more about that and how we're doing. Is there, a, is there an abbreviation for that? MUFA. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be talking about MUFAs wow. a lot. M-U-F-A. Mm. So we'll also be posting because the most important part of the whole fat flat belly diet is your measurements. So we'll be posting our weights as well as our measurements um, so we can see where we're at with those and how well we do. And it'll be a goal of ours to I don't know if we want to set an actual goal. Do we want to set an actual goal of a target of we're going to lose X? Inches I think we should just see how we should just set a deadline like we'll just, you know. Maybe we'll do it in stages. You know what we should do? Like a tour de France. We'll have six stages and see who the leader is after several stages, after one month. You want to do like six weeks? Six. And... We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. We'll both be winners if we're both losing weight. Stickerhead says, first idea for cooking show, jello shots. <laughs> I'll have to check the mufas on that. Right. But I'll get back to you. <laughs> but uh, if, if any of you out there would like to do it with us, because each, each, what it is, is each, um, each weigh-in will be a blog post on our blog at talk of the rocks, talkontherocks.com. Uh, right. You can actually comment on any of those blog posts just using your Facebook account or your Twitter account. Uh, you don't even have to set up a different account for this. Just you know, use your Facebook account you already have. Right, and, and we'll it'll try let you, and post, it'll let you post a comment right there with us. We'll try and post recipes too, and for you guys to try out. And if any of you try it out and say, "Hey, this one really sucked," or "Hey, I really liked this one," we want to know about that too. So we won't post recipes that we haven't tried. And if we did do it and we didn't like it, we'll let you know. So if you're on this diet too, then, you know, we'll let you know what we liked and what we didn't like. So yep. just just for the record, when you were talking about all the uh, awesome recipes and the science behind it and all that. Yeah. All I heard was blah, 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 blah. Jamie's going to feed me. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I, I thought it was with Katie there and I heard an offer of making dinner. What? <laughs> me? Yeah. I mean, you made dinner tonight. What's different about this? You actually just have to follow a recipe. Oh, I could do that. I know you can. I've seen you do it. I'm a better eater than a than a cooker. <laughs> well, that's a cook, true. A chef. Hence why we need the diet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay. Well, right. uh, that's the uh, the end of this awesome birthday episode, Jamie. Happy twenty fifth birth- birthday! Thank you. And uh, thank you all of you for tuning in uh, this show. If you joined us late, this show will be available to watch on our our page. We'll post it up on the video and also for those of you who who uh, watch our archive shows we've been seeing an issue with the player where it'll re- stop it'll stop or something in the middle um you'll we're know we're trying to get that fixed we're getting that fixed we're talking with you stream and figure out what they got going on, on their end so if the show seemed like it just quit abruptly and you didn't hear the ending music or anything like that that means the player quit you just need to you know move skip. it up to where you think you ended yeah, with yeah we're sorry about that they're they're working on it something on there with the flash player but our shows are remaining intact so true story and we have the recordings of them so if you're dying to watch them and you just can't get it to play we can probably figure something yes, out we'll, yep we'll be uh, we'll be actually putting the audio only available on our website so if you actually subscribe to the our website using if you have an android phone you could use uh, google listen to subscribe to our uh, our podcast and we're working on getting it on iTunes. Yeah. How cool would that be? Because we're awesome. And we could be... Uh... Well, we like to pretend we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's just cool to say we're on iTunes. That's true. Yes. And you don't have to pay for us. We're free. We're free. So That's right. Anyways, okay. Well, so... uh, for Talking the Rocks, this is Mike. And this is Jamie. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on Thursday. <laughs>